Hello beautiful people. My name is Muita Junior. Thank you so much for always supporting me and continue supporting me. Yeah, for the returning subscribers, thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos. Yeah, and in case you are watching for the first time, <coughs> kindly consider subscribing and turn on the notification bell so that whenever I upload any video, you can be getting notifications because uh, always I, I will be making sure that I give you the best content ever, the best village life stories and everything. And I'll be making sure that you you are enjoying my videos. Kindly watch the video till the end. Yeah, it is a, a beautiful afternoon in Africa, Kenya. I'm also in my village, Chimaru village. Neighboring Nyabohansi, the famous village Nyabohansi. Yeah, I know everyone knows where Nyabohansi is. Nyabohansi is a famous village which is known all over the world. Yeah, and we we thank the God Marwa so much because He's the one who make he's the one who make Nyabohansi to be known worldwide and to be known everywhere and he has really been supporting so many people and he has inspired so many people actually i think even if maybe yeah we've no i've never met him but i think uh, very soon i'll meet him very soon i'll meet him god's willing I'll meet him because he's a nice guy. I know him. I have evidence that he's a good man. Uh, yeah, yeah, and he understand everyone's problem. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, and I think he has a different heart from other people because. The support he's giving to people it is unique and uh, extraordinary for a normal human being can do you know the goodness with Marwa is that it's not a must that he knows you so that he, it's not a must that he should know you for him to help you no as long as you are needy, he's there for you. Yeah, so today here, I think it is lunch time in my home. Jimaru here, this is my home. So I want to take, to take lunch and I have secret agenda, guys. Yeah, I have secret agenda. Yeah, today uh, we are having lunch with my parents. Yeah, you know, my parents never went to school but i've never asked them why they didn't go to school they are not learned so today as we are taking lunch i'm going to ask them why eh? why though they don't understand english um, you will allow me sometimes to translate to you in English because they will be com communicating in a vernacular which is Kikuria and then I'll be translating it into English yeah though my English is not that perfect but I'll try my best so that we can understand each other yeah thank you guys come with me we go take lunch together and we have our story together thank you so much let us go yeah guys oh hi I'm washing my hands so that I go and eat. <coughs> yeah, this is the food. Yeah. Yeah. 
tao kwa mungu mbe. Uya. So I'm um, eating kinyeji guys. The mchicha. We call it mchicha. Watoka. Ha. 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 Yeah, and also I have my dad here. He can say hi. Takeri mbi abantu. No gandi na lewa. Inaito Jones imuito ikuabe. Yeah, he's my dad. He think that he, his name is Jones Muita Ikuabe. Yeah, and I'm called Muita Junior. So I am using his name. That's why I'm called myself Junior. Yeah, and this is what I'm eating. Yeah, as you know, we are the farmers of the avocados. Yeah, the other time we were harvesting with Maja Nasto and Cloud Joseph. So if you mix them with vegetables, they become so sweet. So welcome. We take lunch together. Yeah, so can we get a cry? Yeah, we're asking him why he's not eating. He, he told us that, yeah, he told us that he has already ate, so we are the one to eat. Yeah, my mom also, she's here, she can say hi. Hi, my name is Rosemary. Hey, my mom is trying English. English is not water, so she's trying. And imagine she never went to school. <laughs> mm, yeah, so she has said hi. Yeah, and she said that her names are Rosemary Rioba. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm asking who cooked because the food is so delicious. Yeah, so that's why I was asking and she's telling me that my young sister, is she's the one who cook. Yeah, but she's not around. She has already gone. Mm -hmm. So, Mama, I have some questions for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because I've heard uh, you know English, mm. and I'm saying that you never went to school, so I'll be using English. <laughs> so, why didn't you went to school? <laughs> yeah, see, she's telling me that she will be using. Korea because she's not perfect in English, so I'll be translating it into English. explain. Yeah, I'm cutting her short so that I can explain because if she talk that long, I, I I will forget what she has already said. Yeah, so she's telling that she loved school. She really wanted to go to school, but she had a, an elder brother who was going to school and she was uh, told to get married so that those cows can be sold and it will be used as a school fees for the elder brother sorry guys i had already forgot that's why i told you that if she talk much i will forget yeah she told me that she went to school from Standard one up to standard eight. Yeah, but she never proceed from there. Well, no, I'm going to go again. I'm going to reach you. Hmm. I'm going to teach you to make a meet in the chicken. We're going to meet on the road. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. Hmm. Well, no, I'm going to go to the house. 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 She was told to get married so that it, those cows can be sold and his elder brother can use it. They convert the cows into money and the money be used as a school fees for the 
elder brother and now as we are, we are speaking the brother went to school yeah and she did did well yeah and already she's employed Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's telling me that all <laughs> before there were nothing like dating. The man were not have given opportunity to find his or her own girlfriend or wife the father is the one who was finding for you a wife so his father her mom's father had a friend so they met in a, a local club where they were drinking alcohol let me explain again guys yeah she's saying that when they met in a local club where they were drinking alcohol his father told a friend that he has a, a girl, yeah, a girl or a lady, yeah, bring, give me cows, yeah, so they, uh, they accepted and they have had an agreement. <laughs> Yeah, so the following day, she was told that she should not go to school. But she refused that he will, she will go to school. And she was told that no one is going to pay for you the fees. And you should be married by force or you go away. She was to be abandoned if she was not ready to get married. You know, a long time ago, <clears throat> uh, fathers were everything. If he says something, you should know, you don't have that courage or opportunity to oppose. So it's either you say you agree or you be uh, abandoned. Yeah, that's why that's when she was stopped from going to school. Mhm. Yeah, so from there, guys, <laughs> this is this is story is very in interesting. Yeah, so after she has been stopped from going to school, yeah, she went to a DO, a district officer, and if, which was based in Migori, in Migori town, and from her home to Migori town, it was very far, like a uh, a uh, hundred kilometers. And she never had money to use as a transport to go and see the DEO. And the father, father told her that if she's not ready to, to get married, <laughs> she was to be cast. Her father was to cast her so that whenever she will get married, she won't get any child. Mm. Yeah, she's telling me that she was told that it's either she be cast she be cast or 
Uh, the dad was to kill her mom because she, he said that the mom was the one who was telling now my mom not to get married so that and then she had no option she decided to get married and uh, she stopped from going to school <clears throat> yeah so that's why she got married very early <clears throat> yeah and she had children of which one of them um, the, uh, is the one speaking here with a junior yeah okay she's saying that now she's advising the young generation or the yeah the young generation that parents should allow their children to go to school because life life is hard yeah, but you know nowadays, yeah, young men are given opportunity to go to school, but they don't go. The uh, older people, <clears throat> they were not given opportunity to go to school. They were struggling to go to school. But nowadays, like uh, Africa, also in Kenya, um, education is not that, that expensive. It's somehow cheap because there is bursaries and uh, government sponsorship so going to school is not hard nowadays if all one is is interested uh, yeah i think uh, we were born <clears throat> i have i have four uh, we are four in number and uh, all of us we went to school yeah my mom had no job and we were struggling so much yeah, she was struggling for us to go to school. Yeah, I went to school and I I finished. Now the problem is there is no job. But we are trying. Even if there is no job, that's where we are here and there. We are trying to look for a, a better life. Yeah, that's why also I'm struggling in YouTube so that I can see if I can be earning a living and make my parents to live a, a better life yeah eh bona mbe haya mona ga yoga hikeye sibona bana bana ba sasa nko aba bali mo yega ba some era haye ke bara ya bari ki bata sobo hmm ba go soma ya tumu bulin kure bali chindu sukuru ba hatu sukuru ba genda go korera haye ndi ye ke ba ko ba shauri ndi ngi ga ma somo ngara muturu ni nyora ta ne mere mo hatana ra sa bi ya some ke ba wi ga hanu he ndi ngi ga nyora si romonto ma soga <clears throat> yeah she's saying that uh, education is very important yeah for the young people who are given opportunity to go to school she he or she should be grateful and appreciate for that at least if when you are learned you can travel and go somewhere and in case you are lost you can read the signboard or the signpost so that you can know where you are. Even if maybe someone is coming for you and he, he calls you, uh, where are you? You can be able, able to explain uh, where you are. After the last year, he, kuba tevin dingi ga hatta chi ge samo kera ona kyon kera guturi ko koli biashar no rama ne hasara ne koi teno kunyora. Yeah, she's saying that going to school it's not in a must that you get employed by either government or what sorry guys you know i'm talking as i'm eating yeah so that i am eating so that i can have an energy to talk much yeah she was trying to tell us that when you go to school don't go with high expectation that you will be employed by government or what. When you are educated, you can have a knowledge to live a better life. 
you can have a knowledge for to open your own business and you run it you know when you don't have a knowledge you can open a business and it get um, i don't know how to put it yeah but it, it doesn't go successful when it, it, yeah so when you are you are learned you can go <clears throat> you can know how to calculate the profit and the loss yeah that's what she is trying to say uh, so mom that huyu uh, mzee walipatana na baba kwa sasa ni mgani ni baba ni baba ya baba ni baba mkwe sasa baba ni baba yako wewe baba mkwe baba yangu akakutana na baba wa kichana akapanga mambo na ndoa ya watoto wao oh guys you know what secret agenda imagine the that that friend of her father He's my is now <laughs> Yeah, he's my grandfather imagine. You know I was we are were having a story with my mom and I never knew that she was talking about my grandfather who is the my dad's father now. Yeah, so I don't know where is my father. And maybe he has ran away because he, he heard me asking my mom why she never went to school so he knew that he was the next and now she ran he ran away so but i think if i find him we will have a chat yeah we were enjoying lunch yeah but now i think i'm full yeah meanwhile let me find my dad where he is then we can know what next Yeah guys my dad is nowhere is nowhere to be seen I think uh, I will continue asking my mom some questions yeah if she's able to answer she will answer if she's not we ignore so mom eh bueno carga yu chingombe umuntu nirenga pakaru chaka umuntu akachaka hane ru umuntu atetu So guys I'm trying to ask her when they were young how many cows were being provided to the family or the father so as as a dowry Munakanyoro mwana nona so mena so kisu ku ka tsa ka mena ka bena ka rutsinga mena ngwe tata. Mhm. Se rata so mena rutsinga mena ka mena rutsinga mena ngwe be. Mhm. Tsinga mbe tsimana tsa ka korre. Mhm. Kana ba ka ka ba ka suma tsi ba ngende ba ita bere ni hayu ke mena re ka ngere sukuru. Sukuru na ru ka nyapa ni ba so rutsinga ba re ite. Mhm. Mena yi to ye dieve. Yeah, she is talking ba ka ru sala mu ba. <clears throat> oh, so uh she was trying to explain to me that if you are uh, educated if you are not educated uh, the the dowry was not less than 20000 20 cows. 20 cows sorry yeah 20 cows and if you are educated <clears throat> the minimum cows was 30 cows mhm Eh bwana mbeke unina ikro sukuru ngatka ne chungambe nchicho yiku mugi ya yamu ndabuya kana chini ni chakin ni tata na atura ran kere kambe koru bwe mwana wane mai chungambe chino ngai na chino uni sukuru nko ne sukuru ngutune ka nsom Yeah she still be there like uh, yani initially the dowry for example she was she was getting married her father went uh, to my dad's father and take the 20 cows and uh, went back so when my mom came my mom came from school from school the father told told her that thank you thank you my girl this is the cows you i have been given as your dowry 
Look how beautiful they are. Kare haji mbi chingwambe mani gamba kancho chakru chakachru abu musi kyu musi kya tarai abu mumura. Koi ton toga te trupi okumu gito tago mani re robe ni nyange re nge ndo wakri yoku mahu mugi kuyu kuyu nyawa togo mani re. Wow, guys, hear hear this. Imagine a long long time ago. Uh, dowry was given before even the man sows the wife. So, sees the wife. So, imagine the lady was married and where she she was not aware where she was going to get married. The day of the wedding, that is when he she will see she will see the the husband and where she's getting married to <laughs> not like nowadays you you are dating for even three years five years you go and see you survey and you know everything about your man or your girl and then you decide on what to do <coughs> Oh. So she's telling me that uh, huh, long time ago they were the dowry was being paid and then uh, they start planning about the wedding and uh, the way the dowry was to stay there for like two two months and then they can organize for the wedding so I don't know in in the comment section you can tell us Maybe in your area long time ago, how you are doing it? Well, I'm being young, you know, I'm angry with my commander. He made a break. You know, I tap a cab or off. I go under the dango sent kitchen on the chiraman and barico honey. I do need to know which is a wedding course, which is soon it's not to you. So I did. Manaka and Akurum Gomogo Karakabant. Then I like a vanto. I put the time the week came of any one and you remove your own a can show. Kami kerja kan kami kerja hanya sahaja untuk kerja kerana kami hendak cuci ni yang jenuh nerap. Mungkin itu baru rakyat kawan tu jauh teruk hati kerja kuli dia nongai anda kos heran yang. Kerana rakyat kawan tu kemudah gugur ke mubeh. Kalau kau yang baru cuci ni yang ini agak berat nak turu hati sahaja dia yang suhi haru anjur dan agak tangan ini langsung. Ya, so after the dowry was paid, so they were not sure if she will stay around. And till they completed their wedding. wedding, so they were thinking that she was going to run away because she was not ready to get married, and she was being forced. So even in the wedding, you know, the the people who you invite to your wedding, they were coming with gifts or pres presents. So with her, she was not given the presents or gifts because she she never invited anyone. So, but she her cousin he met she met her cousin and he, she told her that you know yeah you just accept and uh, invite some people so that you can be given presents or gifts so that you can go and start your life. Yeah, because your dad has already taken the dowry, so there is no option. And then she had to do that in a period of one week. Ni yo haa heki ba nonga ita bera ni nyangi kava na wiki ano na achele tena fatira mona galiga na bangi yu yote tohi na achele nonga ita bera ni ba nane haru ya ba ya na turishi kwa ma tomeye komole na kato kwa kaja ni yako. Yeah, so she's saying that when she got married she accepted the situation yeah he never said that uh, now that i was being forced i should not stay around no she accepted the situation and now here she is and uh, she has children yeah with peace <laughs> Tangga kecil ni betul. Kalau tu bukan uli buat bantu aku. Eh, kanan dia tu nenek kanya orang kaya baik kaya buyu. Saya kini dia buat uli bantu bantu. Hanya mana barik kau ambil kan apa soke. Barik kau untuk ayah risi bayar nenek kini aku nyorang baik kucing. Yeah, she's saying that 
Yeah, the young generation, they should be respecting their parents because with her, even if the parents, even if she was forced to get married, but she respected the parents and they were, the parents were honoring her that she respe respected them so that even when she had problem, they were easily helping, helping her because <clears throat> she respected them when they told her to get married. Yeah, so she's saying that uh, the young generation, if and if you are dating, you should be involving the parents because maybe, maybe you are dating someone who you are not supposed to marry. You know, every every family or communities uh, <clears throat> or clans they have uh, taboos so you may end up marrying to a family that you are not supposed to marry that is when it brings some curses and problems and they, after some point <clears throat> the you def, you divorce when i go grand over there we go and move on around the sassy go come with the tonan in a way no one you're not chumber no more on the Arakini kuhale abaya wa asia kare ntanga na gara kubo ibu mumuru agache mbaka katuka muma nye toka chari bukope rasa wapu muni kai Gumbe kanyoru mumuru na anu mokali ya atata siya tupisi da para atata Anu iganda yu Yo ya so she's trying to tell me that she has an example Ya she has someone Ya she She has a girl and she was dating Later on the girl came and explained to her about that man. So later on, they realized they investigated about the boy who was dating that girl, and uh, they realized that the man has already a wife. And when she, the, the the boy came here, he was telling the our parents that he has not yet married. So that's why she was trying to say that you should be involving your parents when <clears throat> before you do any step so that you don't fall into mistakes. Sasa yunja tuli mana boita boi bulin kunyorande ku manyu mono yo no wanga kana bonyere ron kuchombera na mule mamanya tumusikira ne botomanya so abuni ga ngwa kokerekero. Sasa yunja yo nja agira toka buri mono ga no wangure aga to tebi atara tubisa. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> that's why she's telling me that they investigated, but when the boy was introducing himself to them, he lied where he's coming from and the names. So after doing investigation, they realized that the man has already married uh, and has a wife for about one year, but he doesn't love that wife. So he was he was trying to marry another wife. <laughs> Mana bada yung murura kumanya gato manya ramang na yo to kang gata rata tu musiki wito na to kakan yung musiki wito na. Aling ka hancha mo kaya orha tam handi chung wambe chin. Yeah. Yeah, she's telling me that after they have investigated and uh, the. Yeah, they have investigated and they realized that the man has a wife. Yeah. Yeah, they told the girl who is my sister that she should not get married to that man because already the guy has a wife then from there the, the guy went went back <coughs> and loved the, the wife who initially she who initia, he, initially he had so even he paid he paid the dowry <laughs> 
and he was saying that he don't love the wife that's why he was ready to marry another wife but when uh, my mom revealed that her daughter won't get married to that to won't be the second wife the guy went ahead and love continue loving the current wife and paid the dowry ono ndio mwana kwa advice ya bana bana pale ero hatanga kimuru kuchumbira muiseke umari muiseke lega nuwa hanchire kusine mari rona yo hanchire kama umuiseke wa no yung korali ngega siri duka no to igoro ne wagokora mu saso kumbi musacho rakanya ni biashara bila hanchire gate tumuiseke ona ne mari tumuiseke ro nyura hanchire yeah so she is telling me that when you are dating make sure that you read the mind of the girl get the girl or the boy so that you be sure if the girl loves you or the man loves you or he he or she loves what you have so like that guy uh, my mom has a boutique so and my sister is is working in that boutique so i think the man loved the boutique and the business my sister was doing so that's why she was interested to, in marrying her so that they can enjoy the money from that boutique mana mbenya kwa abo baada ya kuma nyiga mrora ngu chale hanubo kwe na nyakwa abo na ari kuhami ni umuse kyo rata tuga muka mwana wae na muha anche na wansi kurusha mangana ala gambo igambo ito togo sali umura wae wanu umura wae yaka kamu tebe kani ganki oko gambo igane no mokali <laughs> yeah you know guys translation is is not what it's very hard to translate from kikuria to english and you know very well that i'm also that i'm not that perfect in english yeah but she's trying to say that uh, after that the guy who came who wanted to marry my sister uh, her mom realized that he want to marry another wife uh, she start complaining that um, who i it my, now that my sister is the one making no now that my sister is the one who destroying the relationship and in the recent my sister never knew that uh, now the boy told her mom that why are you refusing me not to marry there and uh, that girl has a boutique i have to marry a wife that she should be feeding you not you to feed her hey bona mbo ni goke hiki he yara kini ntongiro bakubyo to baba ayi bona bonyi bara murenge abana bakete moko mahiga no rendu musiki wito ratato tv no rendo wiyo njaba ya matata yeah so at least when my sister told my mom about that boy they helped her so my mom is saying that yeah it's good to inform the parents yeah like that if the if if my sister could keep kept quiet now she she could be in a, a big mess because later on she could be divorced or something bad could have happened to her mana mbana akagi kumurura rafu chimbi chibole ndu murura atara chega ni gamara ya muri ishara muri se kyono ya chimbi mbiri tukane ri itore ngya tikire hanu ndo uyu ko ine kage ndrai na ni bia chira bida wa nyuru bihan chero yeah she saying that the man loved the man loved what my sister was doing not that he he loved her yeah after marrying her he he was expecting to be using the money from that boutique of which the boutique is not hers it is my mom's boutique so it could lead lead into divorce and big problems <coughs> yeah so she, she's saying that when you want to marry try to find someone who can live with you when you have problem and in in the times of in times of joy and happiness sana sana hata nen kanyoro ni chimbri chincheru siru gutunu muise ke wange kumutentri chimbri chira na rahanchi chimbri situ enda nyora hanchi na runo chire kubura na ale komos yeah she's saying that even if when you want to marry and uh, in case you have a lot of money don't expose to the to the lady you want to marry that you have money because if if the if she comes <clears throat> and uh, by bad luck 
your man goes <coughs> because man money comes and go <coughs> so she will left you oh haya bana bana ba sa se go ni gan ko bate bi ga hatam bu yo te to mukal yo ta na gen tu mutu na we ho aku igole mari yo era bo yeah she's saying that it is good to marry to marry a wife when you don't have something or to marry someone who doesn't have anything so that you can grow together you find wealth together that's when you can live a long life together yeah so guys <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah the story so was so much interesting and i loved it and i'm very sure you will also love it yeah Thank you so much for always supporting us and continue supporting us. Just watch the video till the end, give a like, share and comment. Yeah, let us meet in our next video. Bye bye.